Well, all right, let's, uh, let's compare one of my favorites, one of my favorite pearl bowling balls, the Proof Pearl, with the Dark Code by Storm, Proof Pearl by Track. Same layout on both. Actually, no, just kidding. Uh, the Proof Pearl actually has a pinch longer pen. I think it's a five inch pen versus four and a half. But this five inch pen was one that pops down lane for me. This is the ball I always go to late in the day when I need a little pop down lane. So uh, we're not gonna go straight, straight with it. We're actually, I'm gonna start at like 15, 16 and uh, see what we get. We're gonna start with the Proof Pearl and then we'll throw the dark code. See, that's why I love the proof. Because that thing picks up and goes. Wasn't the greatest shot, but my goodness, that thing gets moving. And in this house, that's what I was saying. In this house, if you get a ball that's going to pop a little bit down lane for you, that is a good sign. Sorry, I got to be on this lane, and I'm reaching in front of the camera every shot. Probably annoying, but this is the only pair that wasn't completely toast. <laughs> All right, here's a dark code. Let's see what this has compared to. Let's see if it's similar. Same type of thing. I would say the dark code was a little more round, a little bit overall stronger, but the uh, I'd say the the proof was a little bit more pop down lane. So now. Let's move a few left. Let's try to get into around 20 now and see what the difference is between the two. And we're gonna go dark code first this time. And that was actually a little left off my hand. I think my feet were too far right. But it sat there pretty good. So I'm gonna try and see if I can't throw the same type of shot with the Proof Pearl and see what the difference is. Will the Proof Pearl sit through there like the Dark Code just did? I don't know, we'll see. did and actually if that felt like that one didn't pop as much as the dark code that one felt like the dark code got through the pins a little bit better from there so if i've got two bowling balls like this whew, i'm a happy camper all right i'm gonna stick with the proof now i'm gonna go a few more left get in just left of 20 Kind of go around the lane and see what both these balls do. Ah, that barely got there. Didn't come off my hand the greatest, but it still still got there. I honestly, I think the dark code gets there. I think dark code picks up and goes through the pins. If it did like in the video, it did. Let's find out. bit pin, pinch stronger not a lot there's not much difference between these two and we're on a used condition so that again this is transition this is where you really get to see what a bowling ball is capable of you know fresh condition i bet you these lane these balls look pretty much identical and now surprisingly they both look basically identical right now but you can see a little bit of a strength difference out of the dark code maybe it's just because it's brand new and the proof has some games on it i don't know but either way i like them both they both are in my bag to stay. Will that come back? It did. Wow. See, that's a spot where the UFO alert did not. I 24810 or 24810 
three times trying to get the UFO alert to come around from there because it's just an earlier core and a lot smoother overall. So now, last shot with the proof. See if the proof can prove its worth. Well, I got a little right. I got it a little right and it still picked up. I'm going to throw that one one more time because it wasn't a very fair comparison to throw it. That was at least four right of where the dark code was. And who knows, maybe the dark code actually overhooks from there. I'm not sure. One thing's for sure, dark code's stronger. There we go. Whoa! All right, I must have, I must have did something different. But either way, I would say you can see the difference between these two.